everybody. Welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today, we're going to be discussing a medication known as doxycycline. Its brand name is Adoxa. Now, before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. So doxycycline is a tetracycline derivative antibiotic. It inhibits protein synthesis by binding to the 30S and sometimes 50S ribosomal subunits of susceptible bacteria. In terms of indications for use, doxycycline is indicated to be used as an adjunct therapy when treating severe acne. This medication can be used for malaria prophylaxis. It can treat respiratory tract infections. Some sexually transmitted infections can be treated with doxycycline. And there are many other types of infections that doxycycline can treat as well. Now, before somebody was to use doxycycline, there is a contraindication that they must clear, which in this case would just be a hypersensitivity to doxycycline or other tetracyclines or any other component of the product. And there's also some precautions and warnings that they should be made aware of. Patients should be made aware that hepatotoxicity can rarely occur with the use of this medication. Intracranial hypertension has been reported with the use of doxycycline. This could appear as blurred vision, headache, or vision loss. Some dermatological hypersensitivity reactions have occurred, such as Steven Johnson syndrome and toxic epidermal necrolysis. And also, drug reactions with the eosinophilia and systemic symptoms have also occurred. This would also be known as DRESS. The medication should be stopped at the first sign of any of these developing. Lastly, doxycycline can cause skin photosensitivity, so it's a good idea to use skin protection, such as sunscreen, and avoid long-term exposure to the sun or UV light. Now, once somebody is cleared of the contraindication and made aware of the precautions and warnings, and they start to use doxycycline, they can expect to receive their dose orally, as it is available as a tablet, capsule, as well as a powder for suspension. If somebody is using doxycycline as an adjunct therapy to treat moderate or severe inflammatory acne, they would typically use 50 or 100 milligrams twice daily, or they could also use 100 milligrams once daily. If somebody is taking doxycycline prophylactically to prevent malaria, they would take 100 milligrams once daily. They would start this one or two days prior to entering the zone where malaria is a concern and continue to use the medication for four weeks after leaving this zone. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using doxycycline. So I'll go over some of those here now. 3% or less of patients may develop hypertension or high blood pressure, anxiety, or a form of pain. About 1% may notice an increase in their serum glucose or blood sugar. 5% may develop diarrhea and 2% may develop upper abdominal pain. 2% could experience a fungal infection and 2% as well may develop influenza. 1% of patients may develop back pain and nasopharyngitis as well as sinusitis are both also possibilities. Nasal congestion may happen in 2% of patients and some patients may develop a headache. Now some more rare but serious side effects would be an esophageal ulcer or esophagitis. That's all we're going to talk about today with doxycycline. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.